hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to create login activity using firebase so let's get started first of all i'm going to create a new activity from the activity and just i'll select the empty activity just name is login activity it's your wish you can put any name there is no problem and the gradle project is sync in progress so it will take some time so let's go to that login ui design so we, have, we need to change that layout first so we, we have to put the relative layout then second thing is like we need to design right so first of all i'm going to drag and drop those edit text for example i need email i need password and i need button so first i just drag this email and this password and this button now just we need to change some few things like i need to add the hint otherwise we are not going to detect what is this so we need to put something for detection so enter your email and this one is for password so obviously enter your password and this, the last thing is the button right so for, before that one we need to change the all the id for edit text for 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 the password we got the login password for email is login email and we need to change those id and the the last thing uh, for button is the login you can put any name there is no issue and we need to change the text for login so now we have to go to that login activity dot java because our design part is over so we need to work with this login activity dot java so first of all i'm going to create the button and edit text and i need to create some firebase or authentication firebase listener and the firebase database obviously and i need the progress dialog now i have i have declared all the all those things so the login button login email the login password everything and as per the you know like find view id is the main thing to get the all the you know widget and everything then i need to create the authentication for first of all i need to initialize the firebase auth auth so the firebase or the get the instance then i need to get the listener otherwise it will not work for login for login purpose we are using the auth listen listener because it it's it going to listen what you are going to put something like for example email and password those things the firebase auth listener will listen whether it's valid or invalid the the thing is like when you go for the uh, m auth listener and it will automatically generate some few course for or state change so inside the state change we need to create like when the firebase i mean the user does not exist then it will log out if the user is exists then it will be i mean it will start another activity so first of all i'm creating one logout activity so that we can detect whether it's login or logout so i got this logout activity then yeah in this logout activity i, I just in, intend that when the firebase uh, uh, user is exists then it will go to that logout activity it means it's successfully login so now when you click on the login button what will happen so login button will set on the click listener and it will view what you want to go and the thing is like it will check the login this is the one method i'm going to create one method is check login you can put any name there is no issue is up to you now uh, yeah so now I'm, I'm going to create the string so I'm, 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 I'm taking the email and the password as a string so that it can get the text and convert into that string and it will trim when it is done then we need to <coughs> go for the uh, the if if statement when the text util i mean the same thing we have done before in the registration project uh, the thing is like when the text util is empty i mean not empty because we created in the first one if the text util is not empty that email part the password part then the action will perform and our when the condition is satisfied then the our login progress i mean the progress dialog will uh, appear where the text will come like checking your login and the second thing is uh, 
okay this is the some uh, some part for the progress dialog so you have to show and the thing is now our m auth firebase i mean the the m auth is going to sign in with the email and password this is the predefined method so the, i have to put the email and password and complete your listener now new on on complete listener then it automatically create this on complete task so now the thing is now i need to again create the statement for if like when the task is successful then our progress dialog will disappear i mean will dismiss and it will intend to another activity it means when your password and email is satisfied i mean is a valid then it will go to the another activity and it will check the user exists so we have done two method one is check for login and whether the user is exist or not for that one we need to create one more method so inside that method we need to create something so let's see in this else part we are going to see like when if statement does not satisfy then what will do it will show some error so i'm just putting like error in login all right okay then yeah then we need to create the check user exist method yeah so now what will happen right here is like uh we need to create a current user id i mean uh for one for current user i mean for the auth listener the for for auth firebase we need one current user and the his id or her id so that we can detect the from which database it's coming from so we took this string as a user id then the database reference then add the value listener and the new value listener and it will create automatically some bunch of code where we we mentioned some if statement where the when the data snapshot has child is a call is a user id then it will intend the login intent and it will go to that login activity to log out activity and the thing is like uh, sometime what happen if you don't declare like these things it will not i mean app will crash and you can you know you will be in the travel you can identify what what is going on so for for this part is is very easy because we did for registration so it is very similar and the thing is like the we are going to create for the login login button within this i mean register button mm, yeah so so now we are going to do the I, I, on I to yeah this is the main thing like database reference so you know like how to create this database so firebase yeah. database dot get instance the get reference and get to that child so because we have created in registration those names should be same otherwise it will not work for database name now i'm going to design for logout because as long as we need to get something when you log in so i'm just creating one button where the name is like logout when you log in it will show some logout button so that you can get back to the login button again so now i'm going to declare something inside this logout activity first of all i'm going to create the button button call uh, uh, okay i'm going to create one button called uh, private dot button is called logout button and i'll create some database i mean the firebase auth firebase auth listener because firebase auth and firebase auth li listener is like is pre-required i mean it's required for the login and registration everything for then we need the firebase user m current user so that we can satisfy with our condition so that uh, in the auth listener we created our uh, state like uh, if the firebase auth the get, get current user equal to null it means when uh the user login i mean when the firebase authentication and the current user uh, current user is not match so it will go to go back to the logout i mean the login activity and then it will start our login intent and uh, one more thing is like now we need to create the on start because without on start it will not work so we are going to get this firebase or firebase firebase i mean the, our authentication is the firebase auth i'm sorry firebase auth dot add out listener 
and the thing is now yeah now m auth listener what will happen when you click on the logout button so it will just is very simple query but the thing is like you need to set up some some you know auth listener and those things so it it will go into firebase or dot just sign out is a i mean very simple one now we are going to create one button for registration otherwise you know like when you we do, if you don't have any account so you need to register right for that one we are making one register button so that it will, can go to that registration activity so i'm just creating in the so into this login activity and just name is uh, button call registration okay register button whatever and now i have to declare right here register uh, the register button so the find view id uh, dot id and register okay now what will happen when you click on this register button it will take to this registration activity so i am just creating the intent uh, and new mm, the intent the uh, the login activity your main act i mean your current activity to where you want to go is registration class and i have to start the activity yeah there is, there is register intent now yeah this is the registration activity where it will go so i am changing because uh, when you go for registration previously i did for firebase file upload so when your registration complete it will show another activity but now i am going to put that logout activity you can put anything and one more thing is like those uh, for login i uh, know like don't forget to put that progress dialog otherwise it will not work so now i'm going to run my application so yeah it's gradle is building yeah so it's launched now you can see right here is mail and password is there so let's create one registration i mean register one user for example put my name Sinha at the rate of gmail.com and you can put okay for testing paper i'm putting my password password okay so when you click on submit button look at my firebase database uh, you can see one yellow portion came which means it added into my fibers database my email and my name now I'm going to put my email you know that my email is papusin at the rate of gmail.com uh, gmail.com then the password uh, the password and it's login yeah now it's work thank you guys for watching my video please like comment share and subscribe my channel